Hi guys, in this video as promised I am going to let you know how you can actually punch the data of all the variables and that is the variables, demographic variables as well as the variables of the, uh, the research model. So you can see in the, uh, in the video that I have got these questionnaires filled out. Like the first questionnaire is uh, from female having this age bracket and the master's degree and she has done or she has filled or responded to my questionnaire in this way. These, these were the four items and she kind of uh, agreed to two of them, strongly agreed to two of them and agreed to, uh, to two of them. And similarly for these four items, she has agreed to these uh, this way. Remember, there is one important thing that really is going to help you. This one is a negatively worded question. That means, uh, if it is strongly disagree, that would mean that we need to take care why we why we will be doing the uh, analysis. We have to make this strongly disagree into strongly agree. I'm going I, in the coming video. I'm going to let you know how you can actually handle the negatively worded questions. So let's start. This is the new file. As you can see, there are two views: the variable view and the data view. First of all, I'm going to set up. Uh, sheet for all of these variables so, so I know that the first variable is uh, okay for the sake of this okay for the first variable first variable demographic is gender I'm going to enter gender so, the second variable is the age the third is qualification now coming to these uh, with the variables from the research model. The first variable, the, these, these four items are for the personality traits uh, as discussed in the last video. This, these particular four items, they, they belong to agreeableness. So for example, the individual accepts uh, imposed limits. So I'm going to say that I'm going to name it as AG1, that is agreeableness 1. And then we have agreeableness 2, agreeableness 3, and agreeableness 4. These are the four items for this. For these four are representing these four items. Now coming to these four items. These four items are again from the personality trait. And uh, this, these particular four items represents introversion or, 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 or the one who is an introvert. So I can write IE1 to represent introvert one or even I can say the IVT one then IVT two then IVT three then IVT four just to represent that this, this is introversion now coming to the values as you know for example I am going to let the species know that one represents male represents female so whenever I'm going to enter one that would be that would, that would let the species know that okay this particular uh, respondent is, uh, is a male or a female it all depends on you how you give the value for example you can also say that zero represents male and one represents female it's totally up to you but the common uh, the, the common thing that prevails is one and two represents that way now coming to age, now I have got like four possibilities, one, two, three and four. So one represents 21 to 30, enter, two represents 31 to 40, three represents 41 to 50, four represents Now coming to the next one and this is okay. Now coming to qualification and qualification we have one, two and three possibilities. I am going to let the species know that one represents bachelors, two represents masters, three represents PhD. Now coming to these. AG1. Oh, I have been putting 
I have been putting this value instead of uh, here I have been putting this here so I'm just going to copy this and put this value here now this it has been pasted here but I need to change this so coming back so we have to remove all these values I will say that one represents one represents slash years change two represents masters change three represents PhD change and four I'm going to remove it and press four now coming to this now one represents strongly agree two represents agree three represents neutral four represents this agree five represents strongly now there is a convention in social sciences that one should represent, should, I am not saying it's a must, but one should represent strongly this thing. So I need to change it, I need to improve it, so that uh, it, it flows with the, with, the, with the prevailing convention. So I am just going to come here and it has been, because I did, since I did not press OK, so this is not, this has not been stored. Again coming, one represents strongly. This agree, two represents this agree, three represents neutral, four represents agree, and five represents strong agree. Now this is more prevailing and more appropriate. Now I'm just going to copy all of this, and now one by one I'm copying the the, the, the values from this, this, uh, this ad one to all of them. Now coming to the data view, we can see that in the data view. All the file has been set up and we are all ready. We are, we are just ready to plug in or to punch the data in. So we can see that the first uh, respondent was a female. So female was represented by two, having the age of 31 to 42 and a master's degree two. And the respondent strongly agreed with AG1, so five, and agreed with the second item. So it was it is four and then agreed with the third item four and then strongly agreed with the fourth item and that is five. Now coming to the next IV that is individualism and for the for the first two it was uh, agreed so it, it was agreed so four and four and, and the second last was four that is strongly agreed so five. And the last one, it was an inverse or opposite question, strongly disagree. So, we have now entered the data of the first respondent. We can see that data has been entered. Now, coming to the second respondent. Second respondent, again a female. Female, age bracket 41 to 50, PhD. And she doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, agreeing to many of the terms. So strongly disagree one. So strongly disagree one, one, two, and again one coming to IVTs. Then we have one, one, two, and strongly agree one. So in this way we have actually entered the data for the second respondent. Now I'm going to enter the data for the third respondent. We can see that the third respondent is a male that is represented by one and then one and two and strongly agree that means five, five, five and four and then we have five, five and four and this that we represented by two. Now coming to the third, uh, fourth respondent and for this, for the sake of this video, I'm just uh, going to enter or let me emphasize on the on only four respondents that entry of the four respondents the third the fourth respondent is a female now once you do it you become faster you see I can you now you can see that I'm very much faster than when, when I was actually entering the data for the first respondent so five 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 and four and then I got uh, four four five and two 
now here you can see the data of the four responders have have been entered in this way we have to punch the data for all the responders i hope you have understood it in the coming video i am going to let you know how we how we are going to uh, treat the negatively worded uh, items in our questionnaire thank you very much